John, have you ever been involved in a game with such a, a wild momentum swing with so little time left on the clock? No, no, it's uh, uh, it's the magic of this competition, isn't it? You know, uh, we spoke all week about it's trapdoor football, knockout football. Uh, it's going to be hard. You're going to have to work your way right the way through for 80 minutes, but I didn't think we'd give them 18 points start before we started doing it. So I thought Featherstone were the best team. Um, we've got to be. We've got to be honest performance wise and probably for 65 minutes uh, they were the best team and uh, we sent the message around the post that after they went 18 points up look there's 15 minutes left you can either be embarrassed or you can do something about it and uh, they did something about it and I think it's testimony as well to the spirit within the group and I don't just mean the 17 who played I mean the the backroom staff. I mean the the squad players and everything, and it, it just showed how they got a bit of momentum. They carried hard. They played some eyes up football, and they came up with the goods. And uh, I mean, Elliot Minnie is like Sinny, isn't he? You know, he can uh, have nerves of steel, landed those kicks, and then John Lilly in practice yesterday. We'd we'd looked at a golden point situation, and. He couldn't hit a barn door with a drop goal and then he's just done one from 40 yards so uh, he's gone for us all right. After those two back-to-back -back Featherstones tries, John, and that 18-point gap, did you genuinely believe it were, it were over? Yeah, yeah. Well, you you know, you, 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 you never believe it's over until the Uta goes, but in all honesty, 18 points left. And how, how Featherstone had basically been better than us, because I think if we look at the yardage stats, they'll have killed us with the yardage stats. They, they go forwards really. It's a team packed with forwards. Uh, so we expected the type of game that they played, but we didn't handle it very well until the last 15 minutes. And uh, I'm, I'm going to also give a pat on the back for our uh, conditioning staff, because you know to have that energy and have that wherewithal to to finish the game like that and play that five minutes of uh, of sort of uh, of golden point like that is testimony to them because. You know, we had to defend a set within our own half in that golden point before we came away with that Matty side break and then the rest, as I say, is history. So, uh, what a game. What a game. What's the, what's the dressing room like, John? Uh, I told them, and I don't want to swear on it in public, but I told them that they've got the biggest telling off, shall we say, uh, that they've had uh, <laughs> since I've been here. And it's, it's flipped from that to, well done, your spirit's great. But what we've got to do is be ruthless as well. We've got to look at what we did wrong in that first 65 minutes in order to improve and evolve. And obviously that late barrage of tries, it goes to Golden Point, and that gives you that momentum and, and belief that you, you could get in the draw. Yeah, it's, it's hey lads, hey, ain't it in Golden Point? You know, you've got to work your way for the field position to have a, a shot at, at Golden Point. And, uh, you know, I, Featherson had two shots and didn't manage them and we had one and nailed it. So. Uh, you know, we'll take that, and uh, I think everybody's gone home great, and you know that's entertainment, isn't it? You won't have got any better entertainment anywhere in this country from three o'clock till five o'clock this uh, this afternoon. Twenty minutes remaining, John. You moved Minchella in the halves. No, he moved into the middle channel. No, I still had Rowan Mills and John Lill in the halves. He played a ball playing thirteen role, and all it was trying to do was just move them about a bit more because they had a big physical uh, pack, and they had forwards playing in the uh, in in the backs as well. And we just wanted to move them about, and obviously it worked. So, uh, well done, Mini. I, I thought Ellie Minchella was our best player by a country mile today. I really thought it was magnificent. And uh, George Flanagan went off, I believe, with a shot. No, he's broken his thumb. Oh, is it fun? Yeah, he's broken his thumb. So, uh, you know, there's. But that's, again, that's rugby league, isn't it? So, we'll have to get him assessed, sorted out, and fixed up, and then he can start his rehab. Did you have any words for Ryan Carr at full time? I, I didn't see him, I was looking for him, but I didn't see him, I saw March, you know, and, you know, I saw all the Featherston lads, because, you know, they'll be, they'll be absolutely gutted with that, and they, they did themselves and their club a great credit today, so, uh, you know, they need to take the positives. It's easy for me to say that, because we're in the next round of Featherston aren't, but, you know, they, they need to take the positives, and I need to look at our performance and make sure our players are aware of the negatives. Any preferences for the next round, John? Yeah, we'll say every time when I leave at home, that'd be great. That you know that that would fill the the ground, wouldn't it? And uh, it'd just be marvellous. I think it'd be a great 
uh, money spinner for the club and you know it'd be nice to play him. You mentioned the spirit of the group there John, is there a team and a, and a group of players here that the, the people of Bradford can really get invested in and really get behind you think? Well I, I think the proof of the pudding is in what they've seen isn't it and anybody who's been here today will see that, that spirit and togetherness and, and mateship, call it what you want and in all honesty they ought to get down and, and, and come here and watch this team and, and see them evolve and grow and get better which is what they are doing you know and they're just finding ways to win we said it after the the Jules Breed game they're, they're finding ways to win I prefer it not to be this way but uh, they're finding ways to win and while ever they're doing that they're doing a good job Ross Pelletier returned uh, 40 and minutes and made a big impact yeah well. 40 minutes he did a great job and again that's that's credit to the medical and the and the, and the strength and conditioning staff so good on them they, they've earned their money this uh, this week short turnaround ahead of Halifax John how does the week look uh, I don't know, I'll have to have a sit down and I'm going to have a couple of pints tonight so I haven't that bothered me so uh, we'll leave it at that. Eh? Cheers John, thank you. Thank you.